welcome back to my channel. So today I'm talking about virtual live session tips. So um, our county has officially gone back to school as of yesterday. And um, I haven't, I've heard a few horror stories from other schools, but the two schools that I worked at, it was a pretty great day. Um, pretty great historic first day of virtual school for my county. I just wanted to, in this video, give you guys some things that may help as you are navigating this wonderful new world that we have stepped into. So um, I have a list with me of some things that I think you really should be mindful of and things that you should um, work towards doing to make sure that you are being the best student that you can possibly be. So let's get started with these tips, girl. Um, the first tip is going to be to remain respectful to your teacher and to your class. We are all in this thing together. And to be disruptive is only going to make it worse, not only for yourself, but for the class, for your teacher, like everyone is trying to learn. Make sure that you are being the best student you can be. If you are in a group session, you should always stay muted. Um, and I know a lot of teachers have probably said that a hundred times in your first day, but you need to stay muted because the most distracting thing is for that one kid who's got the TV on, got her mom in the back, got dad over there in the corner yelling at you to grab your paper and your pencil. The most distracting thing is to be able to hear all of the things that are going on in your background while other people are trying to hear the teacher. The other thing that you want to do is make sure that you are paying attention one thing that you really don't want to do is to get caught slipping <laughs> if your teacher calls on you in the midst of a conversation you want to be able to add value to that conversation so you want to make sure that as a student you are paying attention you are dialed in you are focused on what is being said you're taking notes because if not you may get embarrassed on zoom the other thing is to most definitely turn your camera on. Now, I know how anxiety-ridden this can be. Um, I cannot stand to turn my camera on and zoom because it's like the angles are so unflattering. Like, I don't have my ring light. I look dark if the lighting is like, it's just so many different things, so many aspects of things that you're thinking about when your camera is on. However, it allows the teacher to see you. It allows the teacher to realize, to know that you're engaged. So put on a clean shirt, wash your face, brush your teeth, and be active in your Zoom meetings. You wanna also dress appropriately. Right now, I have on a t-shirt. That's fine. Um, but when you start to come with these low cut tops and things that show your shoulders off and possibly your tatas, depending on how low your screen is, you're distracting others. Don't be a distraction. Don't cause your brothers and sisters in class to stumble. <laughs> Does, do you know where I got that from? Let me know down below if you know where that came from. The next thing is to put your phone away. Your phone is a distraction in and of itself. So if you just go ahead, put that phone away, unless you're using it for your Zoom meeting or you're using it for something that is class related, you really should put it away because it's still disrespectful, just like it would be disrespectful if you were in a teacher's face with your phone out. Put your phone away, girl, just put it away. So the next thing is timeliness. So you just want to be on time. You want to log on to your class five to 10 minutes early. This way, if you're having any technical difficulties, you can get those things resolved before the classroom starts and you're not texting the teacher or emailing the teacher to let them know that I'm having all these difficulties and blah, blah, blah. Well, if you had logged in earlier, we could have got this alleviated before class started and now you're holding everyone up, else up. So just make sure that you're being mindful of others and you're being um, respectful to others and them getting their education. You also want to make sure that if your teacher tells you guys that you can go on a break, that you come back from the break at the time the teacher says. 
again it goes with the respect piece it goes with being respectful of others it's not fair that you decide oh I'm not going to come back when they said come back and everybody else was on time just be respectful the next thing is breakout rooms girl if you get pulled into a breakout room or not pulled pushed into a breakout room make sure that you're a adding to the conversation and b staying on topic nine times out of ten you are going to be asked to share and it may not be you specifically but someone is going to be asked to share from your group and you want to make sure that whatever conversation you guys were having it was a conversation worth having um, and it was something that can contribute to the group conversation when you all come back together the most embarrassing thing is to get back into the group conversation and teachers say oh what did you guys talk about in your group and nobody has anything to say and then the teacher sitting there like whoa did you guys have the conversation that you were supposed to have now granted your teacher is probably not going to be mad if you guys didn't understand what the uh, requirements were for the conversation but it just makes you look better and more engaged. And then if you have one of those people in your group that is like a know-it-all and you didn't do your part, I guarantee you that person's going to tell on you. It is guaranteed. Okay? Just saying. Um, the next part of this video is just going to talk a little bit about organization. So for online schooling, you want to make sure... I've said it one time, I've said it 100 times, I've said it 1,000 times. You want to make sure that you have a planner. Get you a planner, girl. Get a planner for your assignments. Get a desk calendar so that you can look at all of this stuff at a glance and so that you have more details with your planner at a glance and details, right? When you are assigned things, write them down. That way you know when you got it, and then you also wanna write it again when it's due. When you got it, when it's due. When you got it, and when it's what? Due. Um, you also want to stay on top of calendar dates. Now, you guys are probably better at this than I am, um, but use utilizing that Google Calendar or that off, um, excuse me, that Office 365 calendar, those things are just there to give you reminders that things are coming up, things are being due. Your Canvas calendar, if you're using Canvas, your Blackboard calendar, if you're using Blackboard, your this calendar, if you're using this, your that calendar, if you're using that. Girl, I don't know all of the names of these programs. I'm just letting you know, utilize the calendar. Always, 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 always check the announcements that should be the first thing you check every day if your teacher gave you homework from the night before it'll probably be on the announcements for the next day but you just want to make sure that you've written it down and you know what you're supposed to be doing a lot of these programs are also created so that you can have the notifications to come to your phone i know how overwhelming that can be i am overwhelmed i am overwhelmed but to have the notifications come to your phone allows you not to miss anything. So that's a personal thing that you gotta figure out for yourself, but I think it's a good idea. Get the notifications so they can come to your phone. The next thing is screenshot. I'm gonna put on the screen the directions to screenshot your computer which you guys are young so that you probably knew but i just learned this like about a week ago i'm just kidding i didn't learn it a week ago but i didn't learn it that long ago it's probably about a year ago maybe i learned how to screenshot on the computer um but you want to be able to do that especially if your teacher is putting up a powerpoint and they may or may not be putting that powerpoint up into the educational system that you're using so you definitely want to make sure that you have that information when you're taking notes and when you're doing different things. Utilize the screenshot button. Boop, boop. And then you also are going to want to print those things out. So if it's something that you may need for a test or a quiz or something like that, at this point, everything is open book, open notes. So <laughs> make sure you have everything you need because a lot of these things are going to be timed. So if it's open book, open notes, those are the hardest tests to take when they have a time limit.
So just be mindful. Remember, I'm a master's degree student. I have taken a many of open book tests and when you don't know the information, it's harder to find it than if it was just on the top of your head or if you had an easy system to getting through things. And I will do a video on that as well. Write your passwords down. Let me say that again. Write your passwords down. Write your passwords down. Girl. Write your passwords down. In my planner, I have a whole section in the back of sticky notes for passwords for everything. It is not hard to forget a password, especially if it's different from everything else that you have. Write your passwords down. Write them down. Write them down. Make you frown. Don't write them down. That didn't really make sense. Okay, we're done. Um, and then the last one is just constantly, and I've already said this one, but I'm going to say it again. Constantly check your announcements and your calendars. Constantly check your what? Announcements and your what? Your calendars. Check those things frequently so that you know what's due, when it's due, and what you gotta do. All right? All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you had a wonderful first day of school if you've gone back. If you haven't gone back, good luck on your first day of school. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.